welcome to playerotech youtube channel if you not subscribe please subscribe playerotech youtube channel like share and comments and don't forget to click the bell icon if you click the bell icon you will get notification when i post new video okay today we are going to talk about three axes of flight all maneuvering flight take place around one or more of three axes of rotation three axes of flight they are called the longitudinal axis lateral axis and vertical axis of flight the common reference point for the three axes is the aircraft's center of gravity cg which is the theoretical point where the entry weight of the airplane is considered to be concentrated since all three axes pass through this point you can say that the airplane always moves about its cg regardless of which axis is involved the ailerons elevator and rudder create aerodynamic force which causes the aeroplane to rotate about three axes okay this axis top to bottom is called vertical axis this one is vertical axis this vertical axis and lateral and longitudinal axis passing through this point is called cg center of gravity okay now let's see the other two axis how we can describe the axis 90 degrees to the vertical axis called longitudinal axis and the axis 90 degrees to the longitudinal and vertical is called lateral axis the axis from wing tip to wing tip is called lateral axis and the axis nose to tail is called longitudinal axis okay now let's see how is the this three axis this is vertical axis 90 degrees to the vertical axis is called longitudinal axis and 90 degrees to the longitudinal and vertical axis is called lateral axis so lateral axis is like this okay uh, this is the lateral axis how lateral axis is there okay like this so you can see now the all axis three axis pass through cg this is called cg yes this is called cg okay now you can see all three axis is like this okay now all this three axis pass through this point this point is called cg center of gravity of the aircraft so the airplane always move about its cg so this point of cg can change by moving control surfaces okay let's see about longitudinal axis the axis nose to tail is called longitudinal axis when the ailerons are deflected they create immediate 
rolling movement about the longitudinal axis since the ailerons always move in opposite directions the aerodynamic shape of each wing and its production of lift is affected differently so this rolling movement done by pilot with moving ailerons at the outboard rear edge of the wing these ailerons always move opposite direction each other so this rolling movement around the longitudinal axis ailerons control roll movement about the longitudinal axis okay then let's talk about lateral axis the axis from one wing tip to other wing tip is called lateral axis the axis from one wing tip to other wing tip is called lateral axis this movement is called pitch movement pitch movement about the lateral axis is produced by elevator or stabilizer the horizontal stabilizer is an aeropoil the action of the elevator or stabilizer is quite similar to that of an aileron essentially the cord line and effective camber of the stabilizer are changed by deflection of elevator in other words as the elevator is deflected in one direction the cord line changes and increase the angle of attack this increase angle of attack produce more lift on one side of the tail coursing it to move so other axis is called vertical axis this is called vertical axis the pressure is applied to the rudder paddles the rudder deflect into the air stream this produce an aerodynamic force that rotate the aeroplane about it vertical axis like this this is referred to as yawing the airplane the rudder may be displaced either to the left or right of the center depending on which rudder pedals is depressed if rudder moves left or right the aircraft move like this this is called yawing movement this is called yawing movement about the vertical axis so rudder control yawing movement of the airplane okay now you know what are the three axes of flight this is vertical axis this is longitudinal axis this is lateral axis and this is cg center of gravity of the airplane all aircraft weight acting on cg to the downward depending on cg movement the aircraft controlled by control surfaces the cg is not permanent point it is moving as per the control movement okay today lesson is over uh, please subscribe play aerotech youtube channel like comments and share with your friends and don't forget to click the bell icon when you click bell icon you will get notification when i post new video 
see you again thank you for watching